Hey everybody, uh, this is kind of like a kickoff uh, video of a project I've been wanting to do for so many years. Uh, I've always wanted to do a, 1990, a Space 1999 comlock, um, and I kind of wanted to do it in a little bit different uh, manner than uh, uh, some of the ones that I've seen online, uh, static display or just MP4 player. I want to kind of take it to a different level, maybe something that uh, would better depict what uh, you actually saw on the TV show. Um, I, that kind of came about uh, when um, uh, I ran across these around uh, a couple of months ago at Target. Uh, these are uh, the Spy Gear uh, Spy Video Walkie Talkies. Um, and uh, bought a bunch of pairs of them. Uh, they, they have to be used in pairs. Uh, because they literally pair up to each other, which is kind of nice if you got a bunch of these uh, in close proximity. They don't step on each other. They're um, literally only going to respond to whoever they're paired to. So what you get is the main screen is of what uh, the camera uh, here, oh, I'm sorry, is what the camera is uh, picking up over here. There we go, sorry. And uh, then you have a little insert, which is the camera that's on the unit, and vice versa. Uh, the problem with these, as they come out of the box, is it's a portrait. And in order to stand a chance of fitting in there, I had to uh, go landscape. And so uh, how I'm doing that is uh, uh, I'm taking the boards out and by adding, unfortunately, this gets a little bit complicated, flex circuits uh, that I get off of eBay, um, I can then remote my camera head and uh, I can remote my LCD screen. And uh, here, let me power this guy up here. Kind of show you what I've done differently here. Give me a second here, folks. Uh, there we go. All right, the boot screen still comes up the other way, but um, I've changed the camera's orientation now by by moving this around. It's now um, in a landscape mode. And also, I can put the screen anywhere I want to, the camera head anywhere I want to, to a certain degree. And I'm hoping by doing this, I can better get it to fit inside the um, uh, fairly tight dimensions of the Comlock. Now, this is a model I downloaded from Thingiverse, and I'm kind of using it as my guide right now for um, some preliminary layout of the electronics. Um, I'm not sure how accurate the sizes are, but I stumbled across a listing on eBay uh, with a gentleman um, over in North, North Hollywood uh, that's offering a resin uh, model of the Comlock for 75 bucks a piece, and I just bought um, three pairs. So I'm anxious to get those in and start looking at how I'm going to get all of this to fit inside um, the relatively tight package uh, that uh, uh, I believe I've got uh, inside the Comlock, or I, I believe I'm going to have inside the Comlock. So, anyways, um, I'll be posting over at Hobby Talk this build uh, in the next couple of weeks, and what I'll be doing is showing the disassembly of this and uh, taking it apart and doing the attachment of the flex harness here and the flex harness here and the flex harness here which uh, this is kind of nice because this connector just allows you to unplug it so you can sit there and put the camera in your position and then route this and 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 uh, secure it uh, so that's one plus so anyways, if uh, this looks like something that might interest you, um, what I'll do is when, when I get the casting, or when I get the, uh, yeah, when I get the casts in, I'll, uh, 
update this uh, video and, and, and uh, put a link in there. Also, just periodically check over at Hobby Talk in the Sci-Fi Modeling Forum and uh, you should see it popped up. I'd hate to have to go to a different display because this is a, 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 a um, SPI interface. That's parallel, so I'd have to turn around and do a parallel to serial conversion, which is more electronics, and you know, I'm trying to keep this thing simple. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep from going to a display this side and make this one uh, work. Um, so uh, stay tuned if this is of any interest, and uh, Wish me luck. Hopefully I can get this thing to fit. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.